right, good morning everybody. We've got our dirty work clothes on today because we've got some maintenance work to do. Got Isaac with me today, helping me out with a little bit of maintenance work on the trailer. He's over there setting up some jacks and jack stands and we're gonna repack our wheel bearings today and change out our grease seals, possibly change out bearings if we need to. Now, kind of the interesting thing here is neither Grand Design, nor Lippert, nor eTrailer.com, nor the other Grand Design dealer that I have checked in with can tell me what grease seals or what bearings I need. And the common consensus across all of them is, is that I need to pull a hub, remove the seals and bearings if needed, and take them in somewhere to get parts. So we actually wanted to rotate our tires anyway, just to stop any irregular wear and maximize our tread life on these tires. So we're gonna go ahead and rotate them and we're gonna pull one hub off, get our seal numbers and bearing numbers, run the town, fingers crossed, hopefully we can get parts. And if so, we're gonna knock this project out today. So here's our grease seal. Needless to say, once you pop these out, they should not be reused. They should always be replaced. And generally you're gonna bend them. I don't know if you can see it, but I've actually bent it getting it out. So I'm just gonna clean it up where we can see the part number so we can run to town here in a second, try to get them. Mission is not complete managed to get our grease and our brake cleaner but they did not have the seals so i'm trying to find an rv dealer near me um i've got a number for you if you can see it's going to be 442-109 they only have two they only have two we popped into countrywide campers here in Payne, illinois about 20 minutes away from camp and they had my grease seals in supply I priced around some dealers and a lot of the dealers I saw were charging three to four hundred dollars for labor alone plus parts to do this wheel bearing job. These new seals, which is all I need since my bearings are good, cost me eight dollars and thirty eight cents. And I've got four tubes of grease and some brake cleaner back there. I spent about forty five dollars on at O'Reilly's. So all told, we're going to be into this job for about sixty bucks. So it always pays to do it yourself. Let's head back to camp and get this job done. Wheel bearing repack, step one, we gotta zip this tire off. Right now we got everything jacked up. We got jack stands supporting it and we have our landing gear down on our trailer. So we've got a few different ways to make sure this thing doesn't fall on us. Also, we're only gonna work on one tire at a time. So if something crazy were to happen and our jack and our jack stand were to fail, we still have our landing gear down, our auto levels all the way down. We're chalked, so on and so forth, so we're safe. So we have a jack, a jack stand, and our landing gear supporting us. So let's zip this tire off and jump into this wheel bearing job. Okay, now that we got the wheel and tire off, next thing we need to do is take this dust cap off. So I try to kind of get it just real soft clicks with a hammer to kind of give me a So now we have a cotter pin in here. I gotta straighten this out with some needle nose pliers. Pull it out real quick. Okay, so now we have our axle nut off. So there's our front bearing. There we go. Okay, so now we've got the entire brake drum off. So what we'll do is we're gonna use our seal puller to pull this seal out and get the rear bearing out, do a good inspection on it. We're gonna clean up all this brake dust and clean up our spindle, repack the bearings and reassemble. And there's our rear bearing. Looks pretty good. We'll get her all cleaned up and see how good. And I'm just here to supervise. We got our parts, luckily. We didn't know for sure if we were gonna be able to get our seals or not, so we only have one hub tore down. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go in here with the little brake parts cleaner and get all this nasty brake dust off of here, get our spindles cleaned up, pack our bearings, reassemble, and then we only have to do it three more times after that. So let's get to work. Before we go back together with everything, I like to take a, a little coating of grease and put it right here on the spindle. Make sure not to get any grease on your brakes or your brake parts. You don't want to hold that dust and stuff in there. We're just going to put a little grease all over that spindle. Give it a little more to go on. And we're ready to reassemble. 
Okay, so we got our inner bearing out. We're just gonna go around, get it clean. And again, we're looking for any signs of galding, burning, chipping, cracking, anything that's overly loose. We wanna make sure, but if it turns out like the outside bearing, we should just be able to repack these and move on down the road, which is good news. So these actually look pretty darn good. I was never successful getting anyone to tell me what seals and bearings I need, which is a whole different frustrating story I won't go into. But since I have these out, I'm gonna go ahead and get the numbers for the bearings and put them in my phone. That way next time, if I wanna change the bearings preemptively or if I have one fail, I'll know what I need. While we're in here, we're gonna take a really good look at our brake drum. Same thing, we're looking for any galding, cracking, nothing like that. We got some grease on the inside of the drum here, so before we put everything back together, we're gonna to clean it up real good with brake parts cleaner from O'Reilly's, and we'll make all this look shiny and new again, but mechanically, this all looks sound. New grease seals and a little repack, and we'll be on the road another 12,000 miles. When's dinner? I'm ready. I wasn't able to get grease in a tub. Usually I would buy grease in a tub for a project like this, but they didn't have my grease in a tub. So we're going to, uh, we're going to use it straight out of the grease gun. We're going to use the Lucas Red and Tacky. That's kind of my grease of choice. It's really good for boats and RVs and really anything. Push that grease through and see how it mashes all the way through the outside. Mash it, mash it, slather it on. Slides in just like that. Okay. This front bearing back on. Okay. Now we got the hub back on, both bearings, new seals, totally regreased. We're just gonna throw that washer back on. And we're going to throw our axle nut on. I'm not going to give any specific guidance to where you should torque your axle nuts. That should be in your owner's manual. If not, you can reach out to the manufacturer of the RV that you have, and they'll give you guidance on how tight to put these axle nuts. We're just going to put this cotter pin back in, zip the tire back on, and we'll work our way around the rest of the trailer. Just had to put my dust cap back on and now we're ready for a tire. And last but not least, as we finish up with each individual wheel position, we're gonna go ahead and take our torque wrench and hand torque these lug nuts. We put them on just snug with the impact gun just to get the wheel set. Now we're gonna go through and hand torque each of these individually. Follow your manufacturer's specs on your torque. That's what we're doing here. We're gonna go ahead and knock this out, move on to the next wheel. Stay there. They've used the will for me to want to hang out with Isaac against me. This is, this is baloney. I've been shystered. All right, so you can see we're nice and greasy, but it's a job well done. We're in good shape here for another 12,000 miles or one year. Take your time, this is an easy project to do. Know on the front end that for these RVs, you may have a hard time finding out what grease seal you need or what bearings you need on the front end. It ended up being easier just to pop a grease seal out and take it to the parts store and get it done in person, but not a bad job, saved us some money, gave us a little father and son time. I wanna thank Isaac for helping me out today and being my assistant grease monkey. That's all I'm good for. So thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you on the next video.